moms who are struggling deciding if they want another let's say those moms with one kid who are struggling so what you should do is picture yourself 20 years from now at a holiday dinner let's say it's thanksgiving it's you and your husband and then your one kid who else is at the table mm -hmm. is it that one kid who grew up or do you see your holiday dinner bigger and that kind of put it in a different perspective. I'm like, I can see how right now it's hard, but if we were to look in the future, do I want this intimate family that we have right now, which so far that's just what we're doing, but if God yeah. blesses us with more, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And I thought that was such a great way of putting it. So instead of thinking of like, oh, I'm struggling so much right now, I how will I ever, ever take on more responsibility or be needed more, mm -hmm. where this kind of took this road around and said, hey, this time that's hard, it will pass. Yeah. Things that are hard right now, they are hard. And no one needs to excuse that or say it's going to, you know, like mm -hmm. things are difficult. And it's getting adjusted to a new thing, getting know your mid baby. I mean, there's just so many things that are going on. But looking at it from when these few years that are so, so hard, they do go by. And then mm -hmm. do you see your family bigger? Do you want a larger thing? Um, and yeah. I, that's such a large conversation. It is. Yeah. I think there are also things that go into that that we don't think about when we are planning our families. Just, you know, things that I never thought about that are coming up now. Like, um, I will soon have two teenage boys on our insurance policy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know, we have college coming up for these, you know, so um, yeah. the emotional aspect, like I, one thing that really surprised me, like um, that, that I didn't anticipate, I guess, is when kids are young, when they're little, they're physically demanding. Mm. And as they get older, they're emotionally demanding. And like they need more of me, more of me emotionally. And, and I didn't anticipate that. And so that's been, I think, something that, that I've had to figure out like, okay, how do I how do I give more of myself? Like I've been giving myself physically for years and years and years. Like like I'm used to not sleeping. I'm, you know, I'm used to yeah. changing diapers, you know, like all these things that are just physical. And, but then thinking about emotionally with, you know, these, these teenagers and they're coming into, oh you know, gosh, boy teenagers. I can't yeah. even. Yeah. You know, when I, and my, my 10 year old girl and she's asking me about periods and, you know, oh, and like, man. And I know. And she's, you know, she's asking me, you know, she's like, mom, can we go on a date? I really just need some time with you, you know? And, and so thinking like, okay, Stop. so now so I need to, I, it's, it's, it's precious, you know, but you also and, need and, time for that. Yes, exactly. You know, so thinking about how, <sighs> you know, when they're little, you make them all a peanut butter and jelly. They all sit down at the table at the same time. We read a book at the same time and how, when they get older, they need you in a different way. Mm. And, and it's really, it, it is really special and precious. Um, I it's think also that's consuming. It is, yeah, and um, you know, and then also, I, th I think something else that I didn't realize is that I evolve too, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm figuring out who I am as a 40 year old woman, while I'm also trying to figure out, you know, having these teenage boys and having this girl who needs time with me. And so, you know. really quick, how are you for? I was trying to do this math earlier. Because okay. you said you had a 17-year-old, and I was like, mm -hmm. that doesn't make sense. Because you, you look really, I can't, how old are you? You don't have to answer. I'll be 41 in April. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. You don't yeah. look like that at oh, all. I thought you were 30. Oh, thank you. No, you I don't, I, I don't think, do, yeah. do you, like, you look young. You look 30. And then you said 17. I was like, I think she's lying about something. <laughs> she's doing her math wrong. I know she knows her kids better than I do. Um, yeah. You look amazing. Look oh, how happy you. those kids make you. You look younger having six kids. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you look fantastic. Thanks. I mean, Thanks. I don't know I what you're doing. I hope I can keep it up. I hope I can keep it up. At this point, if you've kept this up for 40 years... <laughs> I think you're good. I think people are going to be like messaging you about your skincare routine. Like, oh my gosh, you're sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think you understand how serious I am. Like you look really young. I'm baffled that you're 40. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're. I, I'm baffled that I'm 40 because they said that it'll happen, but here I am. It's wild. So have you been changing diapers 
Sorry, I ate a piece of ice. That's okay. I hate doing that because it sounds bad on thing, but I just hate doing that <laughs> in my teeth. So I'm double mad. Um, you've been changing diapers for a long time. Yeah. 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 You're really good at it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty efficient. Um, I, yeah, we, we consistently bought diapers for um, 15 years, I guess, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so I was really glad the time I went to the grocery store and did not yeah. buy diapers. It was really exciting. It was really, it was really great. They get expensive too. Well, they can. Man, I mean, what would you say would be, because you had mentioned, you know, things differ from your first one and then your second one. Uh, what would you say would be the biggest difference that you had to learn from how you approach one kid to your second one? Was there like a really mm -hmm. big difference that happened? I know they're all different. I mean, you can talk about mm -hmm. all of them. I want to hear how they're all different and how you're doing it. Yeah. I think everybody would want to know. <laughs> um, I, so with my first one, he was, he, he was just, he, he really was like the perfect child, like, you know, <laughs> obedient did all the things, um, you know, just, just, just a really, really great kid and I had my second one and he was equally great, but wasn't as easily corrected. Okay. And, um, and I just, I remember I have this like sp specific memory and I was telling him that he needed to pick up some toys and when we were, um, and he wouldn't do it. And so I was handling it the same way I would have handled my first one. And we sat there, I, I don't know, 30 minutes or something just going round and round and round, pick up the toy, pick up the toy, pick up the toy. And I looked at him and I looked at his face and I looked at his eyes and something hit me that I'm going to have to use a different tool parenting this one. Mm. And, and he needed more like explanation. He needed more okay. like, like, let's, why do we toy. need to clean this right. up? We need okay. to pick up the toy because it's time to do that because the toys don't belong on the floor. They belong in the bin. If we, if the toys stay here, then we can't do the next thing we were going to do because the toys are in the way. Like he just needed a little more like, yeah, just explanation. Like, why are we doing this? I don't want to do it just because you told me. I need to know the reason behind it. And right. then, okay, right. I love that. And, okay. And my first one didn't. It was pick up the toys, pick up the toys now. And he picked up the toys, you know? And yeah. And he, he's just very like, all right, he's, he's still very that way. Just very go with the flow. Mm -hmm. um, and 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 I I, I was just, just having this conversation with some of my sister-in-laws, but just like thinking of them as – as like little people. I mean, they are like, yeah. they're humans. And sometimes it's, I mean, and it's always okay to say we're doing this because and giving an explanation, like they're not robots who are just going to pick up the toys because you told them to. Yeah. They, it's okay to say, this is why, you know, especially if they're the type of kid, type of person who needs a little bit of explanation. Like, I think that's, I think that's good. And, and I'm, I'm really, really grateful that I tuned into that with him yeah. early because I think it's helped me over the years relate to him because I relate to him differently than I relate to my older one. Yeah. Um, so and it's so helpful for other moms because I've heard a couple of conversations where moms kind of struggle uh, connecting to their kid, knowing exactly when, it, especially when it comes to mm -hmm. not necessarily discipline, but uh, setting boundaries or rules or yeah. doing things like cleaning up. And having that time to figure out the right approach mm -hmm. with that individual. Yeah. That's, I mean, we do that when we are like choosing a mate, you know, you could be dating anybody, but then you figure out how this one person works and people right. talk about like the love languages and um, different personalities and how do you, you know, just sharing information. How do you do it to this person? Do you just tell them? Um, do you explain things? There's different no. ways. And so, right. And that comes to the one person, you know, out of, and then that's somebody who's your peer and they should understand things and they're a little bit older. So now you're taking that, but you're talking to a little person who's just learning the world, but they're their own, you know, and so. Right. They are an individual. Yeah. And, they're themselves and they, and they deserve that time to figure out who they are. And then, and I think this is something else that makes it, um, 
challenging, I guess, to have a big family is that I have to figure out how each how to relate with each mm-hmm. of my children. And I want to have that that special relationship with each one of them because they are individuals. Yeah. And and so and that takes that takes time and effort on my part, um, which I want I want to do. I, I want to be able to do that. Um, and and yeah, because they they're their own little person and they're like like each of them are individually so amazing. If they were all little carbon copies of themselves, of each other, then, you know. It'd be weird. I think if you had tiny robots, you'd be like, how? Right, it would be so weird, yeah. So it's really, it's it's lovely that they all are so different and. um, But it can all be time consuming because you have to, not only are you, you go from having one relationship with your spouse to then having two relationships with your spouse first. And then now you have seven relationships that you're trying to, juggle yeah and that's just your family and then you yourself also now have this boot camp mm-hmm. program that you're running you're educating other moms you're getting to know info i'm sure moms are sharing lots of information with you and so you you have a big backpack you've got a big backpack that you're carrying a lot of information in mm-hmm. yeah i think it's been really great like teaching classes too so so i teach birth boot camp classes um I am, I'm on the headquarters team of Birth Boot Camp. There's, there's four of us. Um, so, which is really fun. I get to be involved in all the projects and all the curriculum and all the, all the things. It's really, it's, I love it. Um, but one thing that I, I think has helped me grow as a, as a mom and as an educator and as a woman is seeing all these different families and how they,